A while ago, I received a video from Cubing Blast, which stated that Mr. Fun, I challenge you to make this Assassin's Creed blade. It has a trigger right here, so when I pull pull it or I just let it go, the blade comes out. And so guys, here we have it. My version of the Assassin's Creed blade, which is really powerful. This is made out of wood and even the blade is made out of wood, which is all put together using super glue. As for the straps, I've used elastic and velcro. It has a really nice system similar to what we have seen in the challenge video. This has a rubber band a mechanized system with which the blade actually just like that comes out and it has been constructed in a way that the rubber band as well can be easily replaced if it breaks so as you can see the rubber band comes right off so unlike other models the rubber band is not permanently glued which makes it really flexible and this has an advantage over other models now let me show you how to wear this. And so what I feel is that this is a really nice miniature kind of a version which is of course harmless but at the same time really powerful compared to the other one. So as you can see here it, there's a stopper and I'll just remove it for you so that I can explain what is happening right here. And so this right here is a stopper and this is attached with some paper. So as you can see, when we just kind of lower this down, it's attached with some paper to this main body. So that's why it's really efficient and it ensures that all the time the trigger is pulled, the blade would come out. And for the strap, as I mentioned earlier, it's elastic. So as you can see, it can stretch really nicely and the Velcro also is really nice. And it, the strap is also movable, which means that it can move like this depending on which style you are more comfortable with. And now once we wear this, let me show you how to reload this. So let's pull this back and this would automatically go in this groove right here. Just pull it, push it from the top and it will reload. And then again when you want to launch it, just pull this to the top and really quickly it will shoot up so i hope you like this one now i'll also give you some slow motions for those cinematic looks guys last but not the least uh, keeping in mind the same principle of this stopper, I made the Spider-Man web shooter, which you might have seen in my previous video. You can check that out, links in the description. So this also has a stopper and a spring and the bullet. So when you just do the Spider-Man action, as you can see, the bullet just flies away. And the Velcro, so I gave a detail working in my previous video. So yeah, you can check that out and this is also based on this principle of stopping the force. The only difference is that this is rubber band loaded whereas this one, if you watch closely, is spring loaded. So yeah, these two projects are really cool. So yeah guys, that was pretty much it for this challenge video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and comment down below if you want to see more of these challenge video. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.